Alrighty guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at the measuring tool and how to measure distance. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Yeah. Now, um, the measuring tool, if you're working with strict design requirements, this is quite a handy tool. But I would say first, before you even dive into measuring, um, consider setting up your units. So kind of what will it be measuring? As we can see here on the right, on mine at the moment, it says PT. So that's for points or also I think it's the same size as pixels. So let's say your client is working with millimeters, centimeters, inches then that is all relevant so then what you can do is go to these two rulers top and left for your guides and the, there's that little icon between them so we double click that and under the first tab the ruler we go to the bottom and we go to units now we'll set this to whatever you're looking at so i'm going to put mine on inches for now just to simplify it say okay and then on the right here you can see it's in inches so now if we locate the measuring tool, which is here on our main toolbar at the bottom there, and you can see the shortcut for that is U. So if we locate that, then we can simply measure from one point to another. Now, if we had to, let's say, measure the width of this, then you can see here on our design central on the right, it will give us the information of that measurement. So the first ones here, that is actually the location of your first point so on the x it will be seven point basically eight inches and as we can see on the top ruler here about eight inches is our point and then y will be um 4.7 so same way here you go about 4.7 and then you find our mark so this kind of tells you where the origin of the first starting point is and next up here we've got the distance so um, if I had to go from the bottom, let's say to the top right corner, then horizontally, the ruler is going 5.9, just about inches. And then um, vertically, the distance between the two is about 2.6 inches. So if you have to work out those measurements as well, it is good that you can see them individually. So in other words, words it will do the distance between these two and these two. And then under that, we've got the third category, and it's probably the most important one for most people using the measuring tool. And this is the overall distance between point A to B. So as you can see, we've got your six point, basically five inches. So this will be from this point to that point. And then over here, under that, we've got the, um, the relative angle in degrees. And this works according to the horizontal line. So horizontally, from point A to B, we're looking at about 23.5 degrees. Um, yeah, so in any case, so that is the basics of the measuring. So all your information you'll find in your design central. And if you're not sure where that is located, you can always go on your standard toolbar next to undo and redo. The first icon to the right is your design central. And as we can see there, the shortcut for that is control I. So if I just hover there again, and then it will bring up your measuring tool. Just keep in mind if we deselect anything it's going to remove that so if we go back to the measuring tool you're going to have to remeasure whatever you were measuring but as you can see it still has your lost values in there which is quite handy otherwise that is it on the measuring tool if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find what you're looking for just go here request the training video then we will make that video for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers